Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. X to the power of 3 plus 2x equals 12. Okay, before I begin, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can have more um, of my videos. Okay? Now, the next step is to bring this to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 plus 2x minus 12 equals 0. Now, the other, the next step is to factorize. But if you look at these three terms, nothing is common to the three of them. So there will be need for us to split this middle term. Okay, this is 2x, right, at the middle. And it's going to be equal to, um, that will be equal to minus, minus 4x plus 6x, right? So 2x is equal to minus 4x plus 6x. So I'm going to write this in this place. And you have to think very well before arriving at this. Because we have a lot of other you know, terms that will be equal to this. So now we're going to write x to the power of 3. Then in place of this, I write minus 4x plus 6x. Then I have minus 12. As everything equals 0. Now I told you we will group into 2 and factorize. So we're going to factorize this x is common here we have 1x okay we have x squared then minus 4x close this then plus here 6 is common if 6 comes out we have x over there minus 6 into 12 is 2 we equate to 0 and then from here by the way this is 4 this is 4 because x is already out. Now, we can apply difference of two squares here. So we have x out into x squared minus 2 squared. Because 4 is 2 squared, right? Close this. Then plus 6 into x minus 2 equals 0. If you apply difference of two squares here, then you will have x minus 2 into x plus 2 okay so we'll have 6 into x minus 2 on the other side so the next thing is to factorize x minus 2 is here and it's over there so x minus 2 will come out as a common factor then i have this x into i have this x plus 2 right then plus i have this six then we close the bracket and equate to zero okay it is only six here because x minus two is already out now we have x minus two as a common factor then we can open this bracket so we have x squared plus x times two is two x then plus six and everything equals zero so now that we are multiplying this and this to get zero so we can say that x minus 2 equals 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals 0 because we are multiplying both of them to get zero either of them must be zero x is equal to 0 plus 2 on this side so our x is equal to 2. This is one of the solutions to the equation. Now, I will still pick this up and deal with it. We have x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, so we are expecting two more solutions from here. Remember this formula, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared 
minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now you need to know your a, b, c. a is the coefficient of x squared 1, b is 2, c is 6. So our x will now be minus b, which is minus 2 now. Then plus or minus, we have square root of b squared, which will be 2 squared, minus 4 times a is 1, times c, which is 6. Then we divide the whole of this by 2 times 1. Now, if we continue, our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared, that is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24. Then we divide this by 2. Do not forget that. Okay, so our x will now be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 24 is minus 20. Then we write this as 2. Okay, our x will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 times square root of negative 1. Okay. Then we divide by 2. What I did is to pick out the negative from the 20 there. If you multiply these two, you will still have this. Okay? So now, to go ahead with this, we will have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 is 4 times 5. Right? Then times square root of negative 1 is i. Then we divide by 2. So our x will now be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 5. Then multiply by i and we divide by 2. x now is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 times i. That would be 2i. Then we have root 5, we divide by 2. Mind you, these two can pick this out, and it can equally pick that out. So our x will now be equal to minus 1, because minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times i is i, is i, then we have root 5. So this is a 2 in 1 solution. x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 5 or minus 1 minus i root 5. So from here we have two more solutions. Let's bring the three solutions together. We got x1 to be equal to 2, if you can remember. Then we have our x2 from here now, right? So we have minus 1 plus i root 5. Then our x3 is still from there, So which is this, right? So we have minus 1 minus i root 5. So these are the three solutions to the equation.